Hello and welcome to my short video on the Philips D8892 radio CD and tape player. Um, I'm going to keep this on my channel just as a bit of a, a walkthrough talk through. Uh, at the same time I'm selling this one so I'll be pointing out a couple of um, minor imperfections for any potential buyers as we go along. So a really good looking item and obviously what's great about it is it has all of those uh, media options. It has the uh, tape player on the top with, uh, the, sorry, the radio on the top with FM stereo, FM mono, medium wave and long wave. Of course, your volume and your tone and over here your selector for the CD, radio or tape. Then of course you have the uh, CD player uh, with the, all the buttons here. It's a little section in the middle which we'll see where the track comes on and something to do with memory and storing but uh, to be honest I haven't read the manual so I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to work that out. And then over here on the right hand side we have the, uh, the tape player, nice slow opening uh, uh, cassette and um, yeah so that's basically that. Uh, you can either plug it in uh, using a figure of eight cable or this thing will take uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, eight uh, D cells, so you can uh, take it on the go as well. So uh, that's the overview. So I'm just going to demonstrate a few of the functions now. So first of all, popping on the radio. So I've just put that onto long wave now. Where you've got parents offering support, but they also have local support Good. groups. But that sort of model. Really quite loud and clear. Out to other Post -pass. And again, medium wave. Football's on at the minute. And then the first minor snag is that when it's in FM or, or FM stereo, it's really quite quiet in comparison. So volume all the way up and then tune it in. It's not as loud. In comparison, I'd say it's maybe a quarter of the volume, uh, and on top of that, it, uh, it generally finds more local state, uh, stations than uh, FM stations that are further away. So, just wanted to point that all that all out for the for the radio. Uh, moving on to the CD player, all fully works. Uh, I only had one CD uh, close to hand, which was a an Oasis one. Be here now. Uh, probably fits in with the timeline anyway. Uh, I'll only play short snippets as well because I don't I don't want to get a copyright strike. So on the top, select CD uh, and uh, open it up. Put the CD inside. Close it up. And so the next uh, so the next minor thing is if you push this CD all the way the, the selector all the way to the left hand side. So if you pushed it firmly over. Um, the sound only comes out of one of the speakers, the, the right hand side one. So all you have to do is nudge it back ever so slightly, like half a millimeter towards the radio, but not enough that it clicks back onto the radio and then it'll come out to it'll then come out of both speakers. So uh, if I play on there now, you can see the track listing comes up. I've got the volume down just so I don't get a copyright strike and there you see just nudge it to the right slightly, it's now coming out of both speakers. Moving on to the next track. Sorry about that. Uh, and fast forward, rewind, all working, pause, stop, play. Uh, and I'll let you work out how to use the, uh, uh, the memory features. But you can see if I skip a few tracks along. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So that's that, and then onto the tape player. So pop that open. Um, again, I don't want to get a copyright strike. The patch mode going in. That's what eighty-one to eighty-five. So this works before. Ah, anyway, this one goes up. These ones going upside down on this one. Uh, oh, and of course on your selector, move it over to tape player. So it, it, it'll be motoring, but it won't. The sound won't be coming out. Fine. So all works fine. One thing is rewind sometimes kind of goes 
quick and then slow, just depending on what mood it's in. So it might go, but it, it is still, it's still working absolutely fine. So let's wind it forward for a few seconds. There we go. And you've already seen, you can sit here, you can hear it, hear it rewinding now. So that's all the way back to the, uh, the start of the tape. So yeah, a really nice item. You've got all three with just minor snags. It's in really nice condition. So uh, for the uh, radio, it's just a little quiet in FM. Uh, it seems to prefer more local stations. And when you're in the CD mode, you just nudge it back about half a millimeter towards the right and that makes sure that it comes out of both speakers. Uh, here we are. So anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed that walkthrough talk through. And thanks for watching.